Hello and welcome to Clash of Creators. So you're probably wondering how I got invited to play football alongside some of the UK's top YouTubers. Well, let me tell you the story. July 2020, and a 16-year-old lad under the name of Callum Glanville tweeted about how cool it would be if smaller creators had a platform to perform with some of the biggest creators. So, he ran with the idea and started with putting on an event for smaller creators to raise money for a mental health charity. And at this early stage is where I appear in the story. I see these tweets appear on my timeline, so I decided to respond and put him in contact with Mr. Verified. Well, he was at the time. The man with all of the links, Tom Sharman. Again, somebody I barely knew. And the two of them got talking. Before you know it, conversations became group chats and the roller coaster ride began. Now they have a concept, a bunch of smaller creators, a possible ground, and conversations with sponsors. It's actually happening. So, down to Shoreditch, record a promotional video with a bunch of creators, including myself, announce the project, and get the ball rolling. And it's safe to say that the ball just didn't stop rolling. Next thing you know, everyone wants to play. Big creators, massive creators, Tom GW. It was non-stop. But then there was something to myself that happened, which would change this day for me completely. Hi, mate. Uh, I don't know why, but I wanted to voice note you. I've basically just been playing football. First game back in like a month, and um, I've had exactly the same problem that I did four weeks ago. And like I thought I'd done my calf four weeks ago, and then I've just instantly, like literally about nine seconds into the game, I've pulled it again, and it's it's really painful and. I've obviously got this like fucking game next February and I'm just like, just getting really worried that I'm just, I don't know, that I'm gonna be injured. I'm just a bit emotional to be honest. It's just really, um, it's really bothering me because I know how big next year is for me and February is for me and this game is. And yeah, I just feel a bit lost at the moment to be honest. Mate, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised you're gonna feel, sounds like you feel less and I just think that's completely normal, mate, considering what you've been through the last couple of weeks and considering who you've lost. You've lost someone, you know, it means a lot to you. So, honestly, you can you can sort that. We'll get you a physio. Yeah, just hearing you talking about building up to this, that as a moment will mean a lot to you because you'll be on the same pitch as some of your heroes, some of the people that you look up to. To me, right, you know, you'll be on the same pitch as the people, those people. But, man, I just want you to know you're already on the pitch. You're already there. You're already a creator of that. You're already the creator that you always wanted to be. You don't need a, to be on the same, you don't need to be on a football pitch with them. You're there. Just know that, mate. Don't, yeah. Just just know that. I want you to know that. You deserve to be on that pitch because that's the level you're on. All right, brother, love you. Speak to him. Bye. I've been going to physio the last couple of months because I tore an ACL in my knee and it's all been about trying to recover in time for the Clash of Creators game. Basically got some shit news today that basically I'm going to need to get an MRI scan and see the damage and possibly could lead to surgery, which takes about a year to recover. So um, the main focus now is just just even trying to be able to run about and get on the pitch for a little bit. But I will not be playing football at 100%. Oh, we can't see Trent just move the whip. Morton's going to be running your silly, mate. Oh, well, it's a dream team. 
These are like extra large. Small, I have some small. Mate, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna score a goal. Give that to a yummy mummy in the crowd. You've been on camera for nine seconds before oh, you said yummy mummy. I'm hoping it fits. What is Size medium, you know. We got, uh, I got medium as well. We got a gag ball in here as well. Hold on, hold on a minute. Hold on. Are we supposed to be colouring in before the fucking game? Oh yeah, mate. Colouring in? Just in case we get bored, mate. Well, you'll be doing that. Well, well I need someone to say that. Hello and welcome to Clash of Creators. So, past this point, I didn't film too much. It was all about getting the game face on. But first, a little interview with my boy, James Daniels. The one and only. Um, get him on. He's my fellow, hey. fellow bench, bench warmers. warmers. Uh, yeah. yeah, how does it feel to be on the bench? Oh. Uh, fantastic, thank you. Right. Yeah, because what we're going to do is we're going to rally the troops from the bench, yeah, yeah. and then we're going to get the chance going, and then we're going to let everyone's legs get tired, and then we're going to steal the show. And then I'm going to run, run along, see if there's any like yummy mummies that are single. After meeting the rest of my team and our manager, England legend David James, he ran us through the team talk. This was so amazing to be a part of. West Ham hero, alongside another West Ham hero of mine, Spencer Owen chatting us through the game. This was really the point where I could not believe that I was in this changing room. When you're on the pitch, it won't even look anything like that. So if we lose possession... Yeah, give us two sets. Two wide, two wide men definitely need to get back to help out. So we'll end up with like some 4-3 formation. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And just like that, we were warming up and getting ready for our first game against the light blue team. A team full of players like Rotashaw, Oli Ball and Jacob, Josh Peters, JM and Theo Baker. Obviously I was starting on the bench just because of my injury, but to be honest, even without this injury, I don't think I would have been in our very strong start in 11. I'll try not to show too much of what happened in the games, as you'll be able to watch that all on the Clash of Creators page. The game kicked off and within 30 seconds the red team were winning as we erupted on the sideline. What a fantastic start and a great goal by Dottinio. Kieran Carlin will be disappointed with that one, especially as it was so quickly into the game. And after surviving an onslaught from the blue team and many missed opportunities, the mighty Reds held out to half time with a one goal lead. As soon as the second half kicked off, we managed to go two goals ahead from an absolutely world class free kick from Sharky. Absolutely with Morks running himself to the ground, it was time to give him a break before the final and for myself to come on up top. First action was trying to win a header from a goal kick. Just before it came our way, Max Fosch turned to me and told me I wasn't winning a single header against him. I told him he was wrong. Well, he wasn't to be fair. I had no chance winning that one. Unfortunately, I didn't manage to make a big impact on the game, but I did sprint slightly faster than I should have done with this knee. Not that uh, Goldbridge thought it was fast anyway. Absolutely unbreachable, but here we go. Oh, he looked like he was running backwards there, that, that red. <laughs> I, was, I thought I thought there was something wrong with our screen, it was on slow play, but here we go. So after that savagery from Mark, it was time to try and get my head on a fantastic delivery from London Movement. The ball was whipped in perfectly and I missed it. And as you can see, I was not happy about that one. And just like that, the first game was over and we had won against the light blue team sending us to the final. And now it's time for the part of the day that I managed to make the biggest impact. And all it was was me not realizing that I walked straight in front of the cameras during an interview. To lose 2-0, I definitely think it could have been um, by one at least, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Liam Bedford, and him appearance there. Good work, Liam. So after a second game between Navy and White, which was an absolute thriller, Charlie Morley with two excellent goals, but Pie Face stealing the show with an unbelievable free kick save. Beat Pie Face from this distance. He's hit it well. Oh, oh, it truly will. So Navy progressed to the final to play the Mighty Reds, which meant a third place penalty shootout between Light Blue and White Team. Always the drama at Clash of Creators with Jack Mate scoring the winning penalty for his team. He's Look at his Come confidence, on. he's missing he is. It. Yeah, it's got it. Oh, oh is it? and that's it. That's it. That's it. it. All over. The there we have there it, guys. Guys. But before the final, I saw the break as a good chance to meet Tubbo and Jack Manifold and give them my number one best-selling Dream SMP book. Oh, I got told about 
this. Yes. Yes. yes, yes, it is a best seller. No I've heard about this. Thank you so much. No, actually. We, yeah, no, no. Oh my God. And then we put it together in two days. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Enjoy that. That's really awesome. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Wait, yeah. take this person in. Take yeah, it. no, she told me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 over. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. Even thanks so to us, isn't it? <laughs> Everyone's in this. Oh, that's yeah, no worries. So yeah, enjoy those. That's Thank a nighttime you. reading. I'll give that a good bit. Oh. I'll give that a read. It's a number one bestseller. Number so, one bestseller, you know, exactly. It's a bestseller for a reason, obviously. <laughs> right, anyway, cheers, man. But now, more importantly, we walk out one final time for the last game. We knew this would be a really tough game. We would have to keep Chris MD, Charlie Morley, Fogden, and Callum Glanville as quiet as we could. Not me though, obviously, I just had to keep that bench nice and warm. The boys got off to a fantastic start with a mistake from Ice in the Veins himself's pie face, leading to a composed tap-in from Morgs, with him celebrating before he'd even put it in the goal. Top shit housery. Pie no. face and Morgs no. has taken advantage. You what a brat. Much easier than that. He's provided the prat moment. And that was enough for the 1-0 lead at half time, which is where controversy struck. Spencer, our captain and rock at the back, got sent off for two yellows and still here one day later, I'm not really sure for what reason. Spencer couldn't believe it and that was going to make our job a lot harder. I don't think the stream even saw it, but the socials just about caught it. But spirits were raised when Nico decided to show up and join the red team bench for moral support. So, a second half began with 10 men defending a 1-0 lead. And then it was my time to shine in midfield. Unfortunately, this did mean that I had to man mark Chris MD, which wasn't ideal, but I was gonna give it my best go. The Liam Bedford Ultras in the crowd. <laughs> Subscribe to Liam Bedford, there you go. Throwing comes in, me behind Chris ND, and bang, that's the moment I've been waiting for. I want a header against Chris ND. There's a the title, that's the years of watching YouTube events, and that clip will forever be used in my showreel. Yeah, I may be a couple of inches taller than them, but I had to be there. Absolutely iconic. Another header for you there, not quite as good as the last one. I'm really having to handpick these clips at the moment. Oh, and there's a shitty little clearance for you as well. Don't worry, we're full of the clips today. An absolute crunching tackle on Fogden for me there. To be honest, I'm just embarrassing myself at this point, aren't I? And there we go, that was me done. Good stun for me there, well done, Liam. And the game was completed by one of our star players, London Movements, with the second goal, which he deserved more than anyone else on the pitch. We knew the cup was ours. And just like that, we had done it. Brother, little one before tomorrow. Mate, I remember when you got the news you were going to do this and then you you injured yourself, basically. You got injured. I know remember you calling me, like, pretty upset, like, pretty... Well, you were gutted. You were like, this is, there's this one thing I wanted to do that will get me closer to getting to where I want to go and this is going to set me back. Mate, it hasn't set you back, it hasn't at all. You did physio, got through that. Produce content week in, week out, month on month. Produce your biggest videos of all time. What you've achieved is absolutely mental. Absolutely mental. And now tomorrow you're going to, going to be playing alongside, mate, you deserve to be there. You're alongside some of your people you've looked up to for a little while. And you deserve to be on that pitch, mate. You, you're one of them, mate. So, uh, Mate, enjoy it, give it your all, however long you're on the pitch for. If you don't play it all, just make the most of the whole experience. Love you, brother. And of course, the trophy was delivered to us by none other than Dream SMP legends, Jack Manifold and Tubbo. Oh, there they are! There they are, they're having the best time. See, commiserations to the Navy team. Yeah. You never know. Fantastic. They might win next year. There's the confetti. Woohoo! All the way to the end.
After winning the game, giving Callum a big hug, there was one thing left I had to do. And that wasn't just drinking pints at the bar. It was time to give Lord Mo his Lord Certificate. <laughs> I'm going to frame it and leave it in my room. Yeah. 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 So we got a bit of this. Nice one up. Get in! Yeah. 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 It's massive. It's massive. That video changed your life. Did, didn't it? Yeah. It fucking yeah. did. But, I think the musical was like amazing. That's one half of the certificates received. Just KSI to go. And make sure you subscribe because that will hopefully be coming very, very soon. Make sure you're following my socials as well so you can see all of these things I'm up to before anyone else. I want to say another big thank you to the whole team behind Clash of Creators. Tamika and Tom, you're legends. And Callum, I'm so fucking proud of you. You absolutely smashed it. It's now time for me to get that knee surgery done and come back stronger for the next event. Another reminder that this whole event was for Mind Charity, which is a mental health charity, which all of you know is something that's very important to myself. We've raised heaps of money, which is incredible, and the donation link is still open. So make sure you go check that out in the link below. Until the next Clash of Creators event, and until the next video, I will see you soon. Back to a better page.